Okay. Welcome, Priest Planet. It is the Tarot Priest back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at who is constantly thinking about you. I'm actually going to be looking at this from three different point of views the energy of the person, why they're constantly thinking about you, and what they want to say to you. So, before we get started, if you guys do want to book a personal reading, or if you guys are looking for any information regarding my online tarot class I'll be teaching, don't forget to check out the description box below. And a lot of you guys are really resonating with my reading, so I just figured I might as well just go on camera and be a lot more intimate with you guys um, so you guys can see my face and uh, we can get this energy going. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys for all the positive feedback, all the comments. Like I screenshot them and save them because I feel like I'm really honored to be able to guide you guys along your journey and give you guys clarity. Um, so thank you for being open to receiving uh, from me, the Tarot Priest. Um, okay, that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click the notification bell uh, because I will be uploading quite a bit along with Zodiac signs. So I'm interested in seeing who the hell is constantly thinking about you guys. So I'll be looking at the energy of this person. We'll be looking at the animal spirit of this person. Also, why they're constantly thinking about you, the events that may have occurred for them to basically conjure up this um, feeling of constantly thinking about you. But then uh, what they want to say to you, like, why are you constantly thinking about me? Some of these people, like I've already felt, they're constantly thinking about you, but they have yet to tell you this. Uh, so yeah, I'll be looking into that. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get this reading going. So good energy. We have deck one, deck two, deck three, and deck four. So let's get on with the reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your guys' reading. Uh, before we get started, if you guys jump to the timestamp, any announcements or information that you guys want to know about, you can find in the description box below. All right, let's see what's going on with deck number one. Who is constantly thinking about you? All right, first up, we have the energy of the spirit. All right, we have the ego spirit. Spirit has block. Spirit has your back. All right, so that's the first card that we have. And then we have the wombat spirit. I actually have already got this card in a pick a card uh, deck before the wombat spirit. We talked about this. So this spirit, this wombat spirit is all about a spiritual connection. So whoever this person is, I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys do have a spiritual connection. Um, and I only say that because we have the eagle and we have the wombat. And these are two very wise animals and also very spiritual so the ego spirit is someone it's almost like also i feel like whoever this person is they've probably been uh stalking you like looking at your social media um because when you think about the ego spirit this is someone who um has a lot of patience in uh watching you like they they'll watch from a, a higher point of view uh, but they really won't attack we know that eagles fly high and they they really don't approach anything right away and i feel like it's the same thing with the wombat spirit so whoever this is i do feel like they have been looking at your social media um but they haven't said anything and again but this person could this person can be wise could be also older i'm getting and also just very like they could be very spiritual or have uh strong beliefs like that's that's kind of what i'm getting with the ego and the wombat spirit this is a spiritual connection also be at home i don't want to jump ahead of myself and say twin flames but usually the reference of twin flames is being at home or feeling at home uh, so with this energy i'm really getting that this person uh, has a connection with you that's beyond like a physical connection it's not really fire um if this person for some of you guys could be traditional they don't have to be uh, let's see more of their energy okay balance time to take take time take time to relax indulge a little more or less set boundaries with work so i feel like this person could have lacked time for a relationship or a commitment or with you uh with the balance card here let's see what else we have polarity yeah i feel like you guys have a you guys have whoever this person is that's constantly thinking about you Mm, I don't want to say that you guys are not together or together. We'll clarify that with the tarot. Uh, but whatever this is, there is there is balance between you guys. Like, you guys are night and day. Whoever this person is, you guys are night and day. Like, 
with the balance and the polarity, we have the dark, we have the dark, but we also have the light. So there is a balance between you guys. It's almost like also opposites attract. So if we have someone who's completely different, who's punctual, who's on time, and then we have someone who's just like not on time. Uh, that's like the energy that I'm getting with the polarity. Um, also, it says integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without the dark. Understand the law of polarity. I also feel like whoever this person is, I don't get that this is somebody new. This is someone that you have history with for a lot of you guys. Um, there's some history between you guys. You guys had a lot of up, ups and downs. Um... I feel, I feel like this could be a twin flame uh, connection. But again, I'm not gonna clarify because people get crazy with the twin flame situation. But I just want to point out that I feel like there is a balance between you guys um, that seemed like it, that it seemed like it wasn't balanced because it was so night and day. Like your guys' viewpoints could have been different. Your religious standpoints could have been different. But I also feel like you guys went on and off which is why I say a twin flame relationship just because we know that the twin flame is like on and off on and off runner chaser uh, with the polarity card flow so yeah I don't I don't feel for a lot of you guys that this is a new connection I feel like this is more of an old an old connection that you guys had with this person But the reason why they're constantly thinking about you as well is because you guys have been through a lot together. Like, it's kind of hard to let go of that relationship or whatever you guys had with the balance card and the polarity. And then the flow, find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So for me, like, I feel like for most of you guys, you guys are not together uh, with this energy. And also, I feel like some of you guys might be have been impatient about getting back together. But this person is constantly thinking about you. Um, they're watching you from a distance, like I said, with the eagle spirit. You think of the eagle eye, seeing it from a different point of view. Um, so they are thinking about you uh, and they're watching you. But they're also going through a spiritual journey is like what I'm what I'm hearing is that they're going through a spiritual journey. You guys are both going through a spiritual journey. Uh, some of you guys may be or this person could be drowning themselves in work to kind of like avoid the situation. But I just feel like, uh, you know, it's there was a lot of ups and downs in the relationship is what I'm getting. But they are constantly thinking about you. Also, I feel like you guys have to, with this card, the flow card, surrender the outcome and release your expectations. Um, and that I feel like a lot of you guys may have not been open to a different perspective with this situation. Um, but I do feel like this, this is a time of like finding yourself. Like both of you guys are going through like a spiritual journey, um, but this person is constantly thinking about you because of how much you guys have been through. Like that's what I'm getting. All right, let's see what the hell happened. All right, so yeah, we have the first card out. We have the five of wands. This card tells me that there was some fighting. There was some, some combativeness. There could have been some competition. Um, feeling like this person had a lot of suitors or they feel like you had a lot of people, a lot of contenders. There was a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. I also am getting that it was like, it wasn't just you guys, it was third party. Like family or friends for some of you may have not have liked this connection because it's like, why are you guys still together? Like this seems toxic, but that's why I feel like it's twin flame energy because you guys are like, people think that you guys are bad for each other, but you guys have this connection, like this spiritual connection that's unde undeniable. It's not physically. Like if nobody, nobody's really gonna understand this connection because they see it from an outside point of view. Like if you see the guy on here, he's just watching them fight. Like he's just watching them fight. So I feel like this is third party energy, like not, not cheating energy, but like third party friends, family, like, well, why are you guys still together? Or why were you guys together? Why are you still thinking about this person? Let this person go, get out there. But I don't feel like the outside people understand the connection that you guys do have. Um, and so there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk as to like, why, why were you guys, why are you trying to be with this person again? Um, but again, you guys have a very spiritual connection. Uh, let's see. 
king of swords here yeah i feel like there were some things that were said um it could have this could be your energy this could be the other person's energy um as far as the king of swords like some things were said um for some of you guys this could be for some of you guys take it how it resonates but i feel like this could be a father of your children um and it's like you maybe again very few of you guys very minimal um, but again, you guys have tried to move on, but this person is still like there and you're questioning whether or not it could work. Um, this is that person, if that's you. Um, if not, I feel like there were just some things that were said, a lot of arguing, a lot of verbal, um, a lot of verbal stuff. And if you're thinking like, well, we didn't really argue. It was like emotional animosity. Yeah. The page of swords, things were being said just like pettiness like well i do this will you do this like well i took out the trash and you need to do this like it's just petty arguments but you guys love each other so whoever this person is like they're thinking about you why this is what the tarot is for why they're thinking about you is because you guys been have been through a lot some of you guys have family with this child with this person children with this person um the page of swords so like I, like i said that's the child card too so this definitely Confirming this could be the father of your child because we have the king and the page pages are children um, They have childlike energy, but I think just like immature conversations immaturity um, Egotistical things uh, Yeah, you guys could have been married to this person or this person could be married or this person could be divorced um, you guys had a lot of <sighs> It's a spiritual connection but you guys, for some of you, have different beliefs. Also, third party. This just clarifies third party energy as far as family and friends. What they have to say. The higher prong is here. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You don't have to be. But this tells me that um, a lot of people had something to say about your guys' relationship when you were together. So I'm definitely feeling like this is history uh, for you guys. If this is somebody new, no, this is not nobody new. Yeah, I can't even lie to you guys. I try to keep it real because I just want you guys to be like free, you know? Um, so if for the 1% of you guys who are actually just getting out there and have just met somebody, they could be going through this energy or you could be constantly thinking about this person. So that's like a little twist for you guys. Um, again, so, but back to the, like the moral, the, the primary storyline that I'm getting and so you guys had some beliefs um, someone could have believed in marriage the other person couldn't have it's some type of belief um, that you guys were dealing with again marriage divorce anything institutional is here with the higher font um, but there's no cup cards here yet no cup cards here and that worries me because you guys weren't really focused on the love you guys were focused on the petty things um, we have a lot of mental energy, a lot of air energy, um, and not enough balance, even in the elements. We don't have enough emotion here. And that just tells me there was a lot of egotistical views in the relationship and why it didn't work. All right, the full card is here. Um, so this person is constantly thinking about you because also you guys, like I said, you guys have been through a lot. Um, whoever this person is, you were in a relationship with them. You did have a connection. Again, I feel like you guys are going through a spiritual awakening right now, and this person is becoming more aware of your guys' connection. And with that being said, it's like as they're going through their things, they're still watching you from a distance. Like I said, they're still stalking you, still looking at your page, probably from a different page that you don't know, uh, a family member's page, a friend's page, just seeing what you're up to. Because one thing that they can't deny is that you guys had history, you had love, you fought a lot, which means you guys just needed some time apart. But with the full card here, this tells me that you guys are trying, you guys are open to trying new things. Like they're open to trying new things in relationships. You guys are more open, but this is more of like a spiritual journey of taking a leap, taking a leap of faith on the spiritual aspect that you guys haven't done already. So that's kind of why they're thinking about you as well. Um, again, I get father energy here with the king of pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with as well, um, you guys could have lived with them. You don't have to live with them. Um, but they're, I think they're also questioning like how they could have been better for you. Like, 
what could what they what could they have learned from this situation what could they have done finances could have been an issue stability commitment i'm hearing could have been an issue for this person i feel like they feel bad that's why they're also constantly thinking about you uh they feel bad by not being able to give you what it is that you wanted or what they feel that you deserve and that has to do with just like the commitment aspect of it um, the King of Pentacles is known as someone who's very committed, very grounded, could be a CEO, entrepreneur, um, a director of a company, but I feel like they question their, this is probably something that you guys wouldn't know about this person, but they question their self-worth as far as if they're worthy enough to give you what it is that you guys wanted. But you know what's so crazy, guys? Like I said, there is no cup cards here. There are no emotions here because it's just all egotistical. Um, they're still, I'm not saying that they're completely like out of their ego. They're still in their ego very much. They're still thinking about the things that were said, still thinking about the fighting, thinking about um, what you guys have been through. Um, but for you, it's like releasing the expectations um, and then also surrendering the outcome. But let's see the messages in which they would say. Forgiveness. Yeah, this is definitely somebody. Um, this is someone that you guys were dealing with. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And so that's what's happening also with you guys. I'm surprised the wheel isn't here. The world isn't here. Our cycles. Because you guys are kind of in the same. You guys are kind of in the same cycle going around and around. Like staying in the past, living in the past, and not forgiving each other. So without the forgiveness, and I'm not saying it's you, it could be this person, if there's no openness for a new beginning or a new cycle because we're so living in the past, right? The past exists only if we choose to live in it, but mentally we're choosing to live here with all of this mental energy, with the air energy. And so that's why things are not moving forward. And I think that they're they're thinking about how, how they could have done better. They are apologetic. And they are pondering on what it is that they could have done differently. But the reason that you guys met also, I'm, I'm feeling like, is a spiritual connection. All right. Life is a series. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, I don't look at these cards, guys. I do not look at these cards. Because I want the real rawness of expression when spirit, God, whatever you guys believe, guides come through. Because that's what I'm saying. This is a, These are cycles. But the way to break this cycle is to stop living in the past. All right. So life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow, flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised at where it leads. So this is about releasing, letting go of this person. You guys are constantly thinking about each other. I don't, for you guys, I don't feel like you're constantly thinking about this person, but they, once in a while, they cross your mind. So yeah, there's some cycles. And then we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow your guidance. So a miracle would be you guys coming back together out of your ego. That's a miracle. And you guys could very well be manifesting that with the manifesting miracles. I also feel like you guys could be manifesting miracles as far as like a new relationship. And there's a lot to learn from this relationship and whoever this person is. But like I said, they're constantly thinking about you because of all the things that you went through. But this is also a challenge of releasing the cycles and letting things flow, releasing the expectations. When we put expectations on things, we don't allow nature to take its course. Um, so I feel like with this, this is also about trusting, trusting in the universe, trusting in whatever you guys believe in, uh, to it, to bring this back together, which again would be a miracle, but you guys are manifesting a miracle. So it could be with this person. Um, but again, it's going to take time because this person is very egotistical. Some of you guys may have even thought they were a narcissist. I don't truly believe in the narcissism, but I do believe in the egotistical ways, like being in your head and thinking things through in an egotistical way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I get for you guys for deck number one. Don't forget to comment down below so I can see how this resonates with you guys. But for the most part, this is someone that you guys were in a, in a relationship with. All right, let's get on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is the reading and who is constantly thinking about you. All right, don't forget to comment down below. If you guys clicked on the timestamp, all the announcements or information that you guys are interested in will be in the description box below. All right, let's see who is constantly thinking about you. We have the dolphin spirit. This and that are true. And then we have the starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. I feel like this could be a new person. Whoever this person is has really good energy. Um, they have childlike energy, very adventurous. 
They like to explore things in life. Um, they're open. They're very open. They could be spiritual as well. So they could have water in their chart uh, with the fish, uh, the dolphin and the starfish. So Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer could be in that chart for a few of you guys. Um, they, yeah, they also, I feel like they could be very emotional, very open um, towards expressing themselves. Like they have, they have a good way of, they have a good way of communicating how they feel. For the most part, this person is constantly thinking about you. Expansion. So spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light, share the world what you're made of. I feel like this is a new person or a secret admirer. I only say that because if they want expansion, they want more. It could be a friend around you guys that you guys are unaware of that's thinking about you, but they definitely want to expand. I don't feel like you guys are in a relationship. If you are for some of you guys, it's probably a new relationship. Um, but they're looking to take adventures with you, travel with you. This is really good energy though. I feel like it's really good energy as far as like the person that they are. So they want expansion, innocence. Yeah, take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with child like I just said that. Yeah, it's a child, it's a child like energy, like an adventurous energy. So whoever this person is, I feel like they're relatively new or you guys are relatively new to a relationship. So take time to play, nurture your inner child, live with a childlike sense of wonder. So also for you, like whoever this person is that's constantly thinking about you, this is about you being open also to nurturing your child. Like some of you guys may take life so seriously. Uh, whoever this person is, they're, I feel like you guys have come together so that they can kind of ease that and bring out your childlike energy. Like. It could be something as simple as going go-kart racing or roller coasters or grabbing a burger and doing laser tag. Like this type of energy is meant to bring something out of you. So if you're questioning this, like you may be thinking, are we going to get married and have kids? But this person is that's thinking about you is here to bring a sense of innocence and childlike energy and amazing energy traveling. Um, you know, being in the water, jet skiing, snorkeling with the turtles, like this is amazing energy, as you can see. It's just so happy, like it's just, you know, like puppy love, that's kind of what I'm getting, whoever this is. Or you can also feel this way about that person who, who you're constantly thinking of. Rebirth. So you guys might have just gotten out of a relationship or they have gotten out of a relationship, I would say more than six months ago. Uh, for for most of you guys but it can still be relatively new um but if that's the case this rebirth is to reinvent yourself give life to your dreams and create a new reality so this person is here to help you create a different outlook on life a new reality um being open to your childlike um energy also and this person could uh be around children or want children or really love children too with this energy whoever's constantly thinking about you but they just want to spend time with you and have fun and it, you know not take things so seriously and they're kind of this person is not really like a traditional person they're not like okay i want to do this and have the white picket fence and get married and do all these things they're just like let's see where it goes and that might be kind of startling to you because i feel like your energy is more of like a plan type of thing for a few of you guys like well, what are we doing here? Where will we be spending Christmas? Like, are we going to be with your family, my family? Like, you guys like to plan and see into the future. This person is more of going with the flow, which I feel like will create a good balance for you. All right, let's see why they're thinking about you. In the tarot, with the why they're thinking about you, I'm just saying, you know, this energy could switch up. All right. The marriage card. Four of Wands. Wow. And, and for some of you guys, even if you guys were with this person, um they want to rebirth what you guys have had. So for some of you guys, I do feel like this could be a, a past relationship that you guys had. And so they want to start all over, they want to expand, but with this card being under the expansion, they want marriage, They're, they want that. They wanna go with the flow, but they also, they also have a vision in mind and they do want to expand, like I said, like they want to expand with someone and obviously they're thinking about you. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. So yeah, you guys could have gotten out of a relationship, lived with someone, and this person could be new, or this could be you guys having a relationship and something falling apart, um, but wanting to start all over. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys could have been distant for some time. You guys could have been distant 
and there could have been no communication due to the fallout of the family structure or the home or the relationship but now their energy is completely shifted like they have they have different energy as far as like what could happen between you guys um so i'm getting that as well for a few of you guys who are in relationships most of you guys 70 percent of you guys this will be a new person um yeah so i feel like you guys didn't have any communication with this person um, now it's different. You guys have a very childlike love. You guys may have already done these things together, like went out to parties, had a few drinks, had friends, um, being adventurous. You guys uh, could, you guys could be a water sign as well. But there was no communication. There was no forward movement. I also feel like if this is someone new, you're afraid that it won't go and lead into commitment. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here, it's like where is this going? Um, and I've already picked up on the energy earlier. So there is two scenarios here, an old person who has completely just revamped themselves, rebirthed themselves, and they've reinvented themselves. And so now they have a different perspective and outlook on life to where they're just like, I just really want to be happy. Like, I don't want to be stressed about this. I just really want to be happy. All right. The page of pentacles. Um, there's a lot of pentacle energy here. If I get one more then you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, um, you don't have to be page of pentacles is manifestation. Um, but from a childlike thing, uh, though they have a childlike energy, they're still very um, mature about their outlook on life, whoever this person is. Let's get another card. Yeah, so you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. We have three pentacles here now. Um, that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you could be that. But I feel like this person um, has probably, if they haven't already, has probably offered you guys a gift or has given you guys gifts flowers um something tangible but this is a new opportunity in love um flowers i see a lot of flowers things of that nature um and yeah for some of you guys this could be a past person that wants to kind of rekindle things now see what i mean with the tarot things just switch up like this is all new energy but here the reason why um, you guys could have had a fallout, no communication with the Ace of Swords here, um, could have broken up, could have been married or engaged for a lot of you guys. Uh, whoever this person is, they are thinking about you constantly. And we're going to see what they have to say. But with this energy, I also feel like this new person can sense that you've gotten out of this relationship or this new person could have also been going through this situation where they maybe also that's why they're just seeing things from more of a brighter spirit of wanting to move forward from a childlike thing and not putting so many expectations on it um so they could have gotten out of that as well but this person even if you don't know about them some of you guys it could be a secret admirer um that that you guys are not aware of that's kind of been around and has not really said much but there it is a t an innocent puppy love um and children could be involved as well because i do feel like that uh, they could have children you could have children but yeah there's like three scenarios that i'm picking up here but the most important part is that there is an opportunity for a new beginning or a new love that's what i'm getting what do they want to say because they're constantly thinking about you don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others um so this is telling me that you might not be ready to move forward with this new person due to th some things that have happened in the past. Um, but this is telling me to just kind of be open, let things kind of flow and see it from a childlike perspective of innocence, not feeling like just because you guys go on a date, you guys have to get married, like not being a, a excessive for those of you who this is a new person. Now, if this is someone old, um, don't make decisions based on guilt. This tells me that you, you guys would have to let go of some things. Um, they would also have to let go of some things that have happened in the past, the no communication. Whoever this person is too, you guys stop talking for at least a month or two is what I'm seeing. At least two months you guys stop talking and I feel like they've changed. Whoever this person is, has changed, they have good energy. They just want to, they just really want to be happy, like I said. So don't make decisions off of guilt or shame. Um, and, and what you think you should do, right? Logically, well, this doesn't make sense for us to be together or try again, it didn't work out. Not thinking, but also just going with the flow, following your heart type of energy is what this is saying. Also friendship, yeah, absolutely. So for the new person, it's friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your, life will, your love life will dramatically improve. 
So again, for the new person, some of you guys are just like, where is this going? <laughs> like, you know, I'm getting older, I need to settle down. What are we doing? You know, th this type of energy that you guys may have had, or you guys could just be tired of dating and ready to settle down. This is telling me that whoever this new person is, is don't put so much pressure on it and just see it as a friendship, like build the friendship foundation. And I always tell people, you know, this is biblical, but wisdom as far as building a house on sand, it's not going to be stable. It's not going to be firm. So when it comes to a friendship and nurturing the bonds of the friendship, allow a foundation to be built so that you can have a solid foundation that won't fall apart this time with the 10 of Pentacles here. Okay. Some of you guys could be afraid of that, but also if this is an old person, like I said, their energy is completely shift. They mean well, um, they want to expand but also they want to nurture the bonds of the relationship start with the relation or a friendship they want to nurture the friendships and the bonds that's what's going to dramatically improve for this relationship if you guys do want to make that work if you can do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so already i could tell that you guys are you guys might be an earth sign like me and capricorn because we tend to overthink things like you know what i'm saying over analyzing things where where are we going where are you taking me are we what what are we doing you know that type of energy but again it's it's because you're a thinker right you're thinking and we already have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think okay then we have the answer dwells in your heart and not in your mind so this tells me that with this person it is about following your heart so if they've come back it's about following your heart being true to your feelings and you know if you love them you love them and just being open to that because I, like i said it, it is a rebirth it is a chance to kind of rebuild what you guys have had in the past and then also with the new person not overthinking it and going with your heart as far as like having expectations on the outcome so yeah, that's what I get for deck number two. If you guys chose this deck, don't forget to comment down below. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this reading. This one, this one's intense. I'm sure a lot of you guys might may be on the defense when it comes to an old person coming back after no communication. You might have some trust issues, but I do feel like this person's energy has shifted in a more positive direction. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who is constantly thinking about you. Also, if you guys jump to the timestamp, all of the information is in the description box below. If you guys want to book a personal reading, learn about online tarot or all the other fun stuff that I'm doing. All right, let's see who is constantly thinking about you. We're going to be looking at their energy and then we're going to be looking at why and what they want to say to you. So let's start with the energy. All right, so we have the fox spirit. Think on your feet. So already we do have some uh, sexual energy or passion. You guys could have had a passionate connection or will have a passionate connection. Uh, the owl energy is here. You see clearly now, I feel like this person could be older or have wisdom. Uh, passionate connection, feels passionate about you. Also with the owl, this tells me that they're also stalking and lurking. Anytime I get a bird, uh, especially like an eagle or an owl, these birds stay up at night. So, you know, with that creepy energy, just looking down and you don't even know they're there. That's the type of energy I get with this person. They're constantly thinking about you. Very passionate about you with the fox here. Um, let's see, let's see. Goddess, yeah. So let's hone in on this one. So they they basically, they think very highly of you. Um, you're an intuitive. You probably have psychic abilities actually. For some of you guys, intuitive. You guys may see signs, numbers, have rocks, sage your house, uh, candles or something like that. They see, they think of you as like a very, very highly they think of you with the goddess card here. I love this card. It has amazing energy. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. So this is about confidence. Like they feel, they're thinking about you. They think that you're very confident. Um, they're also feeling, they're very attracted to you as well, which is why they're thinking about you a lot. Um, they see you from a higher perspective, higher point of view. You may have been doing something differently on a spiritual aspect. So they do notice that you've been changing as far as your spiritual situation, or they may look at you as like giving good advice or, um, they're just like, they're just admired by you. There's something about you that, that, that's, that they're admired by. We also have the two unicorns on the bottom. We'll clarify if that's a twin flame connection. So yeah, they think very highly of you. Let's see. 
imagination. So they're dreaming about you. They're imagining a life with you. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream, believe in unlimited possibilities. So this person, their energy, they could also be a goddess or have feminine energy. They could still be a man. We know that gender has no spirit. Obviously the spirit has no gender, right? So the gender is not spiritual. Um, as far as a man and a woman. So with the goddess here, this tells me that this person could have a uh, feminine energy. Um, they could be a man, but they have sensitive energy. Um, like I said, they do have wisdom. They are in tune. They are, I feel like they're intuitive as well. You guys kind of mirror each other. Yeah, you guys kind of mirror each other. Um, and then again, you may be very attracted to them. So whoever this person is, there's an attraction there for sure. Um, and then also they see you as very confident. So they're thinking about that. They're constantly thinking about that as far as, I feel like they've been dating, but they haven't really found someone like you. Also with the imagination card, it's them dreaming about you. So I feel like they're probably dreaming about you. Um, they're envisioning a new reality with you, a new start, a new beginning. Um, they, they do want to be with you. Um, that's why they're also thinking about you. So they, I feel like their energy, let's see. Yeah, wow. That's insanity, okay. Yeah, this, okay, this connection is very uh, spiritual, very spiritual. Whoever this person is, they have really great intuition. They are very evolved. Like I feel my energy with these cards. Um, intuition, listen to the whispers of your heart, use divination tools to help you decide. They could be a reader. They could be into, like, they could be into tarot. And you may not know that. If this person's new, you may not know that. Um, trust your intuition no matter what. So I feel like with, with meeting you, they feel this connection, but I feel like you guys are, this is way deeper than like why, like them constantly thinking about you. You guys might have a mission, a spiritual mission together. So they're constantly thinking about you, dreamed about you. I feel like they could have manifested you. You could have manifested them. Um, yeah. Wow. You guys manifested each other. This is somebody new. This is going to be a very interesting connection here. Um, the High Priestess card with the intuition. I Wow. If the High Priestess card is here, I'm going to freak out. Okay. <sighs> All right. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys could be soulmates. I'm going to look into the events and circumstances as to why they're thinking about you. Cause I want to see if there's history, uh, but they're constantly thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. They want a new beginning with you. Um, they have you very close in their heart. Like if you guys are new with this person, it's going to be kind of weird how connected you guys are. Um, if you, if this is somebody from your past, which I'm not getting yet and I'm going to clarify here, uh, this person feels connected to you and I feel like if you guys stopped communicating They're gonna realize that you guys are soulmates or you guys have some intuitive Connection also I'm hearing that you guys may have split up because they they needed to evolve And I feel like they have with the goddess imagination and the intuition and the owl and the fox Like there is physical attraction, but this is more of like being attracted to the energy of somebody and understanding that. So I feel like if you guys did stop talking, now they're constantly thinking about you because either you helped them wake up or evolve or you guys helped each other. But I feel like you guys have a mission together as far as intuitive, like intuitively you guys have a mission together. All right, let's see. The wheel, yeah, I feel like you guys, uh, this could be a soulmate from your past or a new person, take it as it resonates. But with the wheel of fortune here, I feel like this could be, this is a new start, a new beginning or um, again, a soulmate. Most of the time with the, the Wheel of Fortune here, it could be a soulmate situation. Let's see. The Five of Pentacles. This person could have lost something. You guys could have lost something together. Um, so there could be a little bit of history between you guys for deck number three. Uh, but whoever this person is, like they're thinking about you from a very, like a very high perspective. It's not like, wow, he's, he's so attractive. She's so attractive. It's like, that connection that you guys have is something that they really enjoy if they're new or long for if they're old. Definitely dreaming about you with the seven of cups. You guys are man. If this is somebody new, you guys are manifesting this person. Like they've already dreamed about you. This is deeper. Like this is somebody who has lit candles and has uh, manifested you. Like, you know, just putting it out there on what they want and being very certain about what they want. 
um, intuitively, they understand manifestation, even law of attraction. They understand it to some extent. So if this is a new person, um, they're either waking up to their intuition because of you or they have already manifested you, but they're dreaming about you constantly. Like this person is probably dreaming about you two times a week. And also if they're new, it's like trying to figure it out. Why do I have this connection with this person? It's like I've met them before. You guys could have a past life energy. If you guys, yeah. I feel like this is somebody new. I, I'm getting new energy. Four of Pentacles, we have a lot of Pentacles. Um, let's see, let's clarify. The star card. Yeah, so you guys could have a you guys could have a soulmate connection here. Um, some of you guys may have lost hope with finding somebody, but whoever this new person is coming in, there's someone that's thinking about you that you have not met yet. That's also what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. If you guys are on the journey to discovering new love, this person is manifest, ma manifesting you, but also waiting for you guys to get your shit together so that you guys can come into contact. You guys have both have lost something in the past and you guys are manifesting something. So I feel like you may even have dreamed about this person. If not, you probably will start dreaming. For those of you who chose deck number three, I want you guys to start manifesting, like putting it out there, talking about what this person looks like, closing your eyes, being in tune with what this person looks like, what characteristic traits they have, what does their energy feel like. Um, this person has masculine energy, but feminine energy. They have a really good way of balancing this, this energy. Um, they, they understand that they have feminine energy, which is very nurturing, very sensitive, but very in tune with their emotions. Uh, but they do have masculine energy with the fox spirit here. So they are attractive and they do have a, a good balance balance of masculine and feminine energy but for the most part this person is intuitive and spiritual with the star card here they are hoping to find somebody new not there's no cup cards I don't feel like you guys for most of you this will be a new person that you have not met that is constantly thinking about you your energy and manifesting you um, now if this is an old person they're dwelling on the connection that you guys had when you guys were together so they're dwelling about that and understanding that you guys did have a deeper connection but beneath this physical i feel like if you guys were with this person it wasn't like a long term for most of you guys but this person was first physically attracted to you but then as they got to know you they realized that there was way more to you and they're just like holy moly like this person is a goddess like they have a way different type of energy than i could have ever imagined so they're also thinking about that as well you you guys could have someone from the past and someone from the future that is constantly thinking about you. All right, what would they say? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I feel like this reading, deck three, is for most of you guys. Like, if you guys have picked this stone and you're thinking about um, someone from your past, they do understand and acknowledge who you are, your intuit your intuitive gifts, the goddess that's in you, your high priestess. They recognize this. They've been dreaming about you. But I also feel like it's somebody new. So you guys are going through a transformation stage of accepting where you guys are now so that you can manifest and let go to manifest this new person. So yes, you have you have like two people. You have one person from the past thinking about you and wanting to be connected to you. It's like you're an energy source and they, they wanna plug, that sounds really ridiculous. They wanna plug into the socket, okay? But no pun intended, this is like, for on a real level, guys. It's, you guys are the source of this amazing energy, right? Even if you look at these cards, these cards are, electric okay magnifying they feel you guys as a source of energy and they want to be connected to you so if this is someone from your past they want to be your friend because they feel like they need that type of connection but again you guys have this person in the future that's constantly thinking about manifesting you but however you have to trust the process you have to trust the universe the higher self whatever you guys believe god and allow this transformation that is occurring with you so if you guys have been stagnant in your love life for a while that is because it's you're learning to trust and your abilities to manifest as well understand that you can manifest so deck number three like I said you guys get your manifesting journal out and you know we just missed the full moon but still putting it out there and start to manifest because there this person is waiting on you um, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone confirmation 
uh, instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So you also understand, let me explain to you guys that when you guys are connected and aligned with source, you are able to manifest things much quickly. But if we resist being alone, like nobody wants to hear that, like spend some time alone. I've been doing that. I've been single for a year. Like, come on, Tarot Priest, I've been single for a year. But I'm telling you guys that you could be single and alone, but not connected. So it's about connecting with source so that you guys can understand that you guys are intuitive, you guys are goddess, and you guys do have the ability to manifest with imagination, imagination, visions, and dreams. That's all on this board right here. That tells me that you guys have the ability to manifest what it is that you want and um, spending more time doing that. So yeah, that's what I get for deck number three. You guys are kind of like a hot commodity, but it's your energy. So like I said, you guys are like a source or an outlet of energy that people really appreciate. So don't forget to comment down below if you guys picked deck number three. I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say. Let's go on to deck number four. All right, let's see who is constantly thinking about you, deck number four. We'll look at the overall energy of the person, the history between you guys, and why they're thinking about you and what they would want to say to you. All right, first up, we have the frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. So this person could have a prince type of energy with the frog spirit, clearing out the clutter. All right, so let's take a look at what the frog is all about. All right, it appears to tell you to clean your house, prioritize what you need, and get rid of and get give away the rest so you can have some space in your day and in your head you don't need the old stuff and it's stories shouting out at you about the past could be a past person porcupine time for the beginner mind okay well this is definitely moving forward this could be you constantly thinking about this person which i wouldn't be surprised deck number four also, when I was shuffling your guys' deck, it took it took me the longest to get to get your guys' cards out because I feel like you guys got a lot going on, which is probably why the clear out the clutter card came out. Um, you guys have multiple past relationships that you guys have yet to heal from or people have who have hurt you. Could have been a platonic relationship, friends, family, things that have hurt you. Um, you guys kind of have to clear the space, meditate, clear some things, get rid of some things. I could definitely feel that. Um, but this person also is about time for a beginner mind. Interestingly enough, I'm going to read your guys' deck differently because I feel the energy differently. I feel like this is the old person and you guys have a new person. Okay. So let's just see what we have here for their energy. Um, so yeah, the frog spirit clearing out the clutter awareness. So yep, this is somebody that you guys may have started dating or someone around you that likes you, that's thinking about you, live in the moment, be cautious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. Um, I also feel like this, that the universe, whatever you guys believe, is trying to bring this person to you. Um, I, I feel like they could already be around you, but you could be so stuck in living in the past that you're not really able to see this person clearly. Um, sanctuary, never had this card. Take time out from the world, spend time alone, meditate, or go on a retreat. It's like every time I get the card that says spend time alone, everyone freaks out. But that's okay. Alone time is good. If you freak out or you're triggered by wanting to be alone, then that should be a sign of awareness right now that there should be some time that you should take apart. But whoever is constantly thinking about you, um, again, such as deck number, the other deck that I've done, I think it was three, there could be someone that's manifesting you or thinking about you or... It could be an old friend that has been waiting for you to break up with someone and they're like ready. But this is a time of you, yeah, cycles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You guys are clearing out karmic cycles. Everything has its right time on the cycle of your body. Time into the moon, tune into the moon's magic. So yesterday was a new moon. Um, for those of you who missed it, we have a moon here too, but this just tells me it's a new beginning Like this is a new you cleaning out some things if you haven't done that um, But the person who's constantly thinking about you is the person Hmm This seems like more of a manifestation situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, yep, this is a this is relatively similar to another deck I did two things here we have someone from the past that's thinking about you um wants to apologize needs to clear out the apology like I feel like you haven't been able to let go because there wasn't proper closure this person has been thinking about that I don't feel like they will come forth um this is about also this person thinking about you um from the past is also about clearing clearing some things so that you can be open to a new a new person 
like a new person that's thinking about you, manifesting you. So who is constantly thinking about you would be somebody from your past. Uh, but I feel like they're not thinking about you in a place of love. It's more of a place of like the things that have happened. But also this is about being alert and being aware. So let's look into this one because this one's interesting. So yeah, whoever this is, they do, like you guys could have kids with them. You don't have to. Um, they're constantly thinking about you. They feel like you have a good nurturing spirit, um, great motherly spirit, really in tune with your emotions. I feel like they really do care about you. Um, and on an emotional level, I feel like this is like the first card that I've gotten in today's pick a card reading that had some, some, some type of emotion behind it. Um, but yeah, there's some past hurt. Like this person could have done something, uh, mischievous, tried to get away with something, could have broken the trust between you guys, took advantage of your kindness is what I'm getting. Really took advantage of your kindness, um, took your kindness for weakness, took it for granted. Um, this person is thinking about that. They're thinking about the things that they've done wrong. Um, they owe you an apology, but they have pride. They have a lot of pride, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it's about you letting go of that. That's why they're thinking about you. You guys are thinking about each other. But with the Hermit card here, it's telling me again, being alone, being alone, being alone, being alone, being alone. Like all of this is about introspection. Um, and it's like, they're constantly thinking about you because yes, they do owe you an apology. And also closure, closure of the cycle. The cycle hasn't been closed. It's like still like par partially open. Um, and it needs to close all the way so that you can have a new beginning. But however, having a new mind, seeing things like from a different perspective and being open to that, but also living in the moment you're living in the past, they're living in the past. I feel like they probably try to move on as well, but they could be going through the same thing. As far as the hermit, you could have been dealing with the Virgo. You don't have to be. Um, yeah, we have two Queens here. I feel like they did try to move on, um, but they still are longing for what it is that you gave them. Uh, the emotional connection, the nurturing connection, very feminine. The type of energy that you have is just like a very big heart. You have a very big heart, very caring heart. Uh, like I said, very nurturing, just wanting to love people, feeling like people take advantage of you. But hey, like I'm not going to get into the life coach part of it. But I just want you to know that this person is thinking about you um, constantly about the cycles. I feel like both of you guys are thinking about each other because you guys are connected. It could have been, could have been a karmic partner is what I'm getting to. And so what happens is the karmic partners, like once you guys depart, if the karma has not been cleared, he or she could have tried to move on but they're still thinking about you because the cycle has not been closed. So there hasn't been like a new beginning, a new moon or a new cycle. Um, and this comes with you, like your part, as far as clearing this cycle of this person that's constantly thinking about you, is taking some time, creating a sanctuary in your house, like creating this space, this safe space of just energy, sage and oils and, you know, clearing that energy um, so that you can have a beginner mind. Um, so that you can, like I said, with the, with the porcupine mind, the interesting thing that I'm getting to with the porcupine is just like, the porcupine could be soft, but if you cross them, they could also be very harsh with their um, with their scales, their protective mechanism. So I feel like that's also some things that you need to let go of so the new person can come in. Because I do feel like you're manifesting new, but there's a cycle that needs to be closed. So if you're constantly thinking about this person, they're constantly thinking about you because there needs to be a closing of the cycle. Um, and that's going to take awareness in you, like I said, building that sanctuary, taking time out from the world, introspection. The hermit is about alone time. You are your own light. You don't need anybody. I also feel like for you guys, like, no, I don't even feel like you guys are like not wanting to be alone. Nobody really wants to be alone or lonely, but this is about like taking some time to do some introspection and clearing up the things that were hurt with the seven of swords. Whoever this person was, they, they got away with some stuff um, and they owe you an apology. And I think that that's what they're constantly thinking about because karma comes around and bites you in the ass. So they're trying to move on and it's like, uh, you still have this that you need to clean up, right? So they're going to constantly be thinking about you because the universe God is trying to be like, hey, like you, you forgot to do this over here. Like you, you didn't even give the proper closing, closing. So now they're dealing with karma as well. And that's why they're thinking about you. Um, also with the hermit card, I feel like you guys are independent. Like you guys may have like, for some of you raised your brothers and sisters or been the oldest sibling, or you guys have, um, really just been a leader so and like strong willed like very strong willed you take on a lot you take on way too much um you need to kind of release those burdens i'm surprised the ten of 
wands is not here but just releasing those burdens i feel like you take on a lot of things from other people that's why you need some alone time sanctuary time to yourself um because you are manifesting somebody new however this person is again constantly thinking about you because karma comes in full circle um yeah so the three of pentacles this is about learning um, you could have children you don't have to be you could be a teacher you don't have to be um, but the high priestess this is about following your intuition and your heart um, clearing some things being honest with yourself being honest with yourself about the connection that you guys do have and um, I feel like if you want to be released from this person or this tie or this soul tie um, it's gonna take you cutting the cycle and getting what it is off your chest like even if it's anger like releasing it um, taking the time to to do that so this person is constantly thinking about you um, they do think highly of you they do think that you're very witty and um, that you're intuitive um, they think you're kind as well like I said with the Queen of Cups but the porcupine is here so it's like you're kind to an extent you know don't don't hurt me or I'll hurt you you know that's the type of energy I'm getting so you guys did um, why they're constantly thinking about you so that's also what it is you guys are both learning learning lessons here learning cycles but it's also about following your intuition following your heart understanding what this was about um with this connection here so yeah that's why they're thinking about you it's a karma it's a they're dealing with karma right now so they're thinking about you met they 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 owe you an apology deck number four they owe you guys an apology and their energy is also i feel like they could have been the porcupine energy where they're just like they come across as this person and they're not like Prince Charming, the frog, but they're not. So there's some things you found out as well along. Um, this is an old person that's thinking about you. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Sacred union. But the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new opportunities. Oh, I love it. Okay. Let's start with sacred union. Okay. You guys have a sacred union. Of course. It's a karmic. It's a karmic cycle. Karmic partner okay um honor and treasure your relationship it is truly sacred this also tells me that during the time you guys ha did have sacred energy but i also have uh the fact that this is a new situation that's coming in um because i feel like with the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities and then when i go to the embrace card through each other you find the missing pieces so when you meet this new person that's coming in I feel like um, you guys are manifesting this new person. You will learn how to embrace each other differently because of the things that you cleared or went through and that you guys do have a sacred union. But what they would want to tell you is to like, that's what they would want to tell you that they're sorry that they're just trying to, but it's, it's not like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for what I've done. It's like, Oh my gosh, I'm having bad karma. I need to clear this up. So it's still coming from a very selfish place. But again, this person that you were dealing with has a lot to learn. Um, and so the past is now behind you. This is the message for you regarding this person. Release it, embrace new opportunities and possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Um, but again, it's going to take time and then embrace each other through, through you guys. You find the missing pieces. I still feel like this could be relevant to this person. Um, embracing each other from a place of compassion. Like, yes, you hurt me. And it does take being a bigger person and being out of your ego to be like, I need to embrace and love on this person that hurt me. And I know that that's a lot. Um, and so embracing each other and understanding that through this person in this relationship, you will find the missing pieces. Um, and then also honoring the sacred union. Like I said, you do have somebody new coming in, but I feel like the sacred union is self yourself, like your love. You have a sacred union. You have your own relationship with yourself. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting as well, but you guys could have a sacred union. It could, if it's not a karmic partner, which I feel like for most of you guys, it is, it could have been a uh, soulmate. And so you feel like you don't want to let this person go because, um, of the connection that you guys did have in the sacred union that you did feel. So yes, it was a, a, a soulmate or a karmic partner that had a soulmate energy. Um, but again, with that situation, it's like what I said here with the sacred union, we have the cycles, right? But someone who presents themselves to be the prince frog and turns out to be the porcupine, right? And so that's, that's it too. It's like false perspective of you feeling like this is a sacred union, but realizing later it's a karmic partner. Um, and that's, that's like for the most of you guys with deck number four, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, uh, but yeah. 
they're thinking about you from a karmic point of view of needing to release it. I won't be surprised if they do apologize. Um, but if they don't apologize, I feel like they still have some work to do and maturing to do as well. So yeah, that's who's thinking about you guys. So if you guys chose deck number four, go ahead and leave a comment down below if it resonates with you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So thank you for tuning in to the pick a card reading for who is constantly thinking about you. Stay tuned as I will be releasing a lot more videos.